Fighting Neo Geo Max 330 Mega no Dexteki Taiken Neo Geo System SNK Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series, Neo Nostalgia, where I take a look at some of my favorite Neo Geo games of all time. And now that we're on the second set of this series, we have space for Twinkle Star Sprites. I absolutely love this game, even though I can never figure quite out what genre it's supposed to belong to. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But the best approximation of a genre for this game is a cute em up shmup mixed with something like Poyo Poyo. It's like a puzzle shmup. You are always against an opponent, and you're going to see the windows are structured in that classic Tetris or Poyo Poyo configuration. But you're playing a shmup. Things are coming at you, and you need to shoot them. How it works, though, is this is a battle shmup. You'll see these flaming ghosts come down towards you, and you can shoot them back at your opponent if you hit them, and they will bounce around the screen, hitting your opponent or hitting you. The better shmup you play, the better those attacks are, the more damage you take off your opponent, and the quicker it is that you win. That is the entire concept of this game. It sounds simple explaining it via voice, but when you're playing this game and everything is just going wild on screen, it is an absolutely hectic, enjoyable mess of a game. And you get a giant cat that kind of looks like he's made out of dinner rolls. Can't complain about that either. And when I say a mess of a game, I do not mean it in a negative way. I mean it in a way that this game is constantly throwing everything in the kitchen sink at you. You can see that you can chain different explosions if you hit one of the bigger characters with your shot it will explode everything around it sending those projectiles into your opponent's screen you have a normal shot which you just keep tapping on to be able to shoot and then you can also charge up a shot as well and you'll see that there's different explosions that can cause different things to happen on the other side of the screen over there and the last mechanic you have because it is a shmup is a screen clearing bomb but you'll see right off the top not gonna lie to you this game just loves to slow down it will chug at times but it's throwing so many sprites on screen at once and you'll see that i got that extra attack ko right there it's not at all surprising that this game is chugging because it's doing it on both sides of the screen it's unfortunate, but that just is the way it is. Sometimes things slow down on the Neo Geo. This was developed by ADK, a company that worked closely with SNK, so much so that they helped develop the Hyper Neo Geo hardware and made my favorite game of all time on that platform, Beastbuster Second Nightmare. But you can't argue that this game is not colorful and the graphics are not great. It's cued them up through and through with the sprite designs, with the backgrounds, with the characters and the cutscenes. It is just always showing you color. And you will see there, I played poorly and I took my first loss. The first two rounds on normal difficulty kind of feel like gimmies. From the third round on, you better be playing pretty damn well or else you are going to continue to lose. But you'll see that there's a three hit point bonus and a four hit point bonus on screen there. That is part of what's going to help launch more attacks at your opponent. The better you're playing, the more things you knock off your screen, the more things that are going to go to your opponent's screen. And the more you shoot them back and forth, the faster they become until they become unavoidable. You either need to dodge them or you need to try to not get hit by them because shooting them is just not going to work. And if you get hit by any of the shmup opponents on your side of the screen, you'll take a little bit of damage, but then you have to wiggle the joystick back and forth to be able to regain control of your character. And losing control is basically in later levels a death sentence because there's so many things coming at you at once. Even losing control for two, three to four seconds at the most could mean the difference between you 100% winning a match and completely getting destroyed. Because it, you can go from a full health bar to dead in like three to four seconds in this game. But taking a look at stage four here, I love the snow motif, I love the backgrounds, I love the colors. It's pastel through and through, and what it does, it does so well. And one of the things it does so well is the soundtrack. It's absolutely spectacular, and I absolutely love it. So go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds, and I'll come back and talk more about the history of ADK and Twinkle Star Sprites, and why it's a game you should play. But enjoy it.
The soundtrack is awesome and it's exactly what you'd expect out of a cute em up game, which is to say it is a sugary sweet tone through and through. But you do get a decent amount of story in these cutscenes in between matches. Now granted I always play these on the Japanese ROM, which is how what I prefer, but if you actually want to know what's going on in the game, you can just switch over to English. But honestly, it's like an arcade story. It's like a story from a you know what film. They always have them, but they don't really need to be there. Now if you do want to play this game, I'm playing it on Mr. FPGA, because it's one of those Neo Geo AS games I would love to own a cartridge for, but I'm not going to spend the money. If you want to buy an original copy of this game, depending on how much your mortgage is, you're going to have to spend a mortgage payment or two, because they are not giving it away. But you can play it on the Sega Saturn, which may actually be a preferable experience. It's got a ton of additional features, and it does remove a little bit of the slowdown, but it's got an FMV intro and just more of what we're looking at here. The Dreamcast version weirdly gets rid of all the slowdown if you want, but it takes away all the extra features of the Sega Saturn version, which makes absolutely no sense. But if you want to play the most original version, you got to be on the Neo Geo because that's where it originated. And you'll see here that sometimes you can get a boss battle. If your opponent's doing so well or if you're doing so well, you can send a boss over to their side of the screen. We were able to beat that boss and get just past that and we were able to stay alive just long enough to win that match. But that's how close you can go from near death to winning in this game or how close you can get from basically almost winning and then being completely dead. I love how each match can turn on a dime. It's not the longest game, but it's a fun game. And with a human opponent, it gets even better because all we're doing is playing through the story mode here, showing you guys what's going on in between matches. But when you put a second human character in the mix, all of that frantic action is happening with a friend right by your side. And that's definitely the best way to play Twinkle Star Sprites. But again, I'm going to give you like 35 seconds of the soundtrack as it is so good and so unique. And I'll come back in just a moment and close out the video on Twinkle Star. But like I said, this game is just wild and the soundtrack matches. So go ahead and listen. I'll be right back. It just really is that good and I'm curious, leave me a comment down below, how many people have played Twinkle Star Sprites and how many people are learning about it for the first time from this video? Because I expect this either to be everyone's favorite game in the comments or people to tell me a lot that they've never heard of it before. This one, I love when you guys say you've never heard of something before because then I get to say homework assignment, you need to go play it and report back what you think. Because I am really curious how many people just know about this game versus have played this game. But once you get to stage seven, this game just gets hard. Seeing the ending of it, even on normal difficulty, you have to have a mix of skill and luck and just blind determination because it gets so hard. I've only been playing for 12 seconds here and I'm down to just one heart on the screen. But Twinkle Star Sprites is an incredibly unique experience. It's Poyo Poyo mixed with a shmup and you can't go wrong with that. Short of that, that is the game. Like I said, if you've never played it, you 100% owe it to yourself to check it out. I'll have more Neo Geo next Tuesday. I'll have videos for the week as well, but I hope you guys enjoyed Twinkle Star Sprites. Bye-bye.